The catch refers to the part of the roll where you grab water with your paddle blade for support so that you can hip snap your kayak upright. This is also where the C2C and sweep rolls start to work differently. The catch phase for the C2C roll involves swinging the front paddle blade out to 90 degrees from your kayak with your control hand arm, keeping the blade as close to the surface as possible. The other forearm acts as a pivot against the side of your kayak and keeps the other blade over the bottom of your upside down boat. Swinging your paddle out to 90 degrees is a good test of your flexibility. And in order to do this and keep your shoulders safe, you need to keep the second golden rule in mind, which means maintaining a power position. This simply means that when you swing your control arm out to 90 degrees, your upper body needs to rotate to keep your hands in front of you. One of the best ways to ensure you're doing this is by watching your active blade through the water. Turning your head to follow your blade will naturally rotate your upper body. With your paddle blade out at 90 degrees and on top of or as close as possible to the surface of the water, you'll simply pull downwards on your paddle and catch the water. When you feel the catch, it's time to hip snap your kayak upright. The catch phase for the sweep roll is very similar. The difference is that you'll start applying downward pressure on your paddle as you sweep it out to 90 degrees. Let's take a closer look at the catch phase. The setup for the sweep roll is of course the same, but things change as you start swinging your blade out to 90 degrees. Since you want support from your paddle as you do this, you're going to swing your paddle blade out in a wider arc than you did for the C to C roll. This means that your forearm won't stay against your kayak as a pivot. Instead, that arm should be kept bent, close to your body, and relatively passive while your control hand sweeps the wide arc out to the side of your kayak. Keeping your paddle blade near the surface as you sweep out and pull downwards on it is your biggest challenge. And the only way to do this is with a climbing angle. If you remember from the sculling section of this video, a climbing angle means that the leading edge of your blade is higher than your trailing edge so that your paddle wants to climb to the surface. Of course, you're not going to need a lot of climbing angle on your blade because you're not going to be applying a lot of downward pressure on it. As with the C2C roll, while swinging your blade out to 90 degrees, you need to maintain your power position at all times. In fact, your arm should stay in a relatively fixed position while your torso rotation drives the sweeping motion of your paddle. Once again, Watching your active blade is one of the best ways to ensure that you're doing this. Another idea that's important to understand for the sweep roll is that your paddle will offer very little support when it's up at the bow of your kayak, but it'll offer a growing amount of support as it sweeps its way out to 90 degrees, which is ultimately its maximum point of leverage. Since your hip snap relies on this support, it should make sense that your hip snap will get more aggressive as your paddle sweeps out.